1985, it is now a leading global software development engineering and consultancy group with a specialized professional approach to project design. The Proto Group comprises of six companies. We are here representing Proto Software, the engineering software developer of Proto Group. As Proto Software, we develop civil engineering software solutions like Proto Structure, Proto Details, and Proto BIM. Proto first introduced well known Orion for RC buildings in 1989 and now has a team of 40 dedicated development professionals who are backed up with leading academics. Proto Computer is the reseller company of Proto in Turkey. The company has over 70 uh, employees and is the largest platinum partner of Autodesk company in Middle East and Eastern Europe. Proto Computer is the direct provider, uh, trusted advisor and training center for multidisciplinary technical software and BIM solutions such as AutoCAD, Proto Structure and Adobe. Proto Engineering is uh, one of the largest and the most prestigious engineering and consultancy firms in the Middle East uh, region, completed more than a thousand projects around the world. We are uh, an expanding company and growing every year. Today we operate with more than 15 offices located in Malaysia, Singapore, uh, Poland and Turkey. Besides our regional offices, we support our customers and provide services through our channel partners. We have 16 partners in Europe, Africa, uh, Middle East, South America and Southeast Asia. Here's a quick summary of our journey. Proto was established in 1985. Our first software technology, Orion, started being distributed in 1989. In 1998, we have become a global software business company. In 2008, we have introduced first BIM links with Autodesk Revit. In uh, 2013, ProtoAsia was opened to give direct support and training to our clients in Southeast Asia. In 2018, we introduced our steel detailing module, ProtoSteel. Lastly, in 2019, we opened our Europe headquarters in Warsaw, Poland, ProtoPolska. Proto Engineering's field of services extend from building design to transportation. Here are some of uh, Proto Engineers Engineering's important project references around the world. Well, Proto Software is a software developer of uh, the software developer company of Proto. Uh, here you see our latest technology solutions that we offer for the market. Proto Structure is uh, for modeling, analysis, and design of your structures. And Proto Details is for your automated detail drawings. It includes intelligent rebars and design libraries such as retaining walls, scaffold design, and detailing, uh, and so on. Proto Steel uh, is our latest technology for steel detailing and uh, connection design of your structures. It's a very powerful tool with drawings uh, and design reports. And finally, ProtoBIM is our uh, BIM tool to bidirectionally uh, link your models with other BIM platforms uh, like Autodesk Revit. ProtoStructure's focused uh, structural BIM design solution of Proto. Uh, some of the capabilities are flexible 2D and 3D modeling, uh, multi-material modeling with physical objects, analysis uh, and detailed design to international seismic and design codes, full design reporting and quantity takeoff, and so on. Main uh, core competencies uh, of protest structure are ease of use, uh, fast modeling, uh, and maximum productivity. Some dealt with projects with protest structure in London, see here. Large scale projects uh, are continuously being delivered using protest structure suite. Uh, these are other interesting projects delivered by uh, our clients in Asia. Here are some other projects designed with protest structure by our valuable uh, clients around the world. But several hospitals in Turkey were also designed with protest structure. These are seismically iso isolated hospitals. Protest structure is a very good support for seismic isolation. These are international airports and terminals in Egypt, Kosovo, Russia, uh, and Turkey delivered with protostructure. Well, today we will go over uh, automated detail generation, CAD capabilities of proto details, user defined sheets with custom title blocks, uh, interactive manual detail generation, detailing of custom formwork with intelligent parametric rebars, uh, and macro library components. 
Let's briefly explain what proto details were made for. Proto-details is a uh, combination of engineering and detailing tools developed on top of a CAD infrastructure. So first, it's actually a CAD software in the core. But it also allows you to create and organize all structural concrete detail drawings in one go. It also offers design and detailing macros along with an intelligent uh, parametric rebar generation system. Well, uh, let's see it in action. Well, I have completed all my work in protostructure and now uh, my model is designed and ready for the next stage. When I open protodetails, it welcomes me and asks uh, how, how would I want to proceed. We have two options here uh, and today I will demonstrate both of them. First, I want to generate all my detailed drawings automatically. For this purpose, I click auto generation. And I select uh, whichever details I would like to take and uh, play with the options to my needs. And then I just simply click draw and pick a point on the arena. Now all your detailed drawings are being generated and placed inside your drawing sheets. You can create your own title blocks according to your company standards and to the requirements of different approval uh, authorities. Actually, this is what I'd like to demonstrate next in this webinar. Well, you have just saved hours of detailing work. This is a fantastic feature. You click a button and all your drawings are laying out uh, in front of you. Let's take a quick look at what we have produced. All my sheets, drawing sheets, are produced. Here are my form plans. Uh, but these are not just uh, plain lines, text, etc. Uh, these are intelligent objects. What we mean by intelligent objects is that uh, when you select a column, it actually knows that it's a column, uh, and you can play with the uh, with any properties of this column, like geometries, uh, section, etc. Uh, or you, if you if you select a rebar, you can see that actually you can edit all of the properties of a rebar. And of course, all these uh, drawings are uh, created into the sheets uh, with the quantity takeoffs. This is the quantity summary of this sheet. Let's take a look at the shear wall details. Well, column uh, shear wall and core details are uh, core wall details are generated with high precision. Uh, so for most cases, you won't need to edit them manually, and of course, this will save you a lot of time. And shear wall holes uh, are displayed in elevations, uh, detail sections, and schedules along with the required rebars. So you don't need to worry about the code compliant whole detailing at all. Well, column elevations are uh, laid out neatly as well. Well, the confinement regions are detailed according to the code provisions. Here you see these slanting columns details. Well, you can see that the beams uh, connected from the other ends are uh, shown on the details as well. Let's take a look at the column schedules. In the column schedules, you can see that the columns are uh, grouped throughout the stories and also inside the stories as well. This saves you more space, particularly in larger uh, scale projects. Let's take a look at the beam uh, elevations. There is no clashing in beam uh, details either. Uh, I have preferred to truncate uh, my beam elevations from the closest axis to the sheet border, uh, so they look very neat inside. I could have truncated uh, them from the sheet border as well. Well, here I would like to show you that, uh, again, that uh, these are intelligent uh, details. So oh, if I select this rebar and for some reason if I need to change uh, any of its properties, for example uh, diameter, let's 
on this right so that we can see the total weight here as you can see the total weight uh, is this much and if I change this diameter to 32 uh, I don't need to update um, I don't need to make any update manually as you can see when I change this uh, the beam elevation quantity takeoff updated itself automatically because they are all linked to each other well, there's of course a lot uh, more to talk uh, about here, but I would like to, uh, and these are my path routing details and pie cap details, but I would like to show you how you can create your own title blocks. Uh, I will open up a new drawing file for this. You can create as many drawings as you need inside a single project uh, because proto details and MDI application. Well, I want to uh, lay out all my form plans on a single very long sheet. Uh, for this, uh, I, I, I will uh, start, I will open uh, an existing sheet first. I will go to the uh, protolib and here are my sheets uh, and uh, I select A0 proto and open this. Okay, this is an existing sheet. What I would like to do is, um, okay, maybe I, I would like to uh, show my client information on this particular title block. So what I do is, let's use the cat properties features of uh, proto details here. For example, I would like to call the copy comment. This is, as you can see, uh, the comment uh, line is supported by the program. So you can call any comment by just simply typing in. Let's copy bought this text here and edit this one change it to client okay and how will I make this uh, dynamic you can find the list of fields that you can bind dynamically to your uh, custom title blocks under project header here uh, for example for client name to be dynamic I need to use this tag so I just copy this and edit this text and paste it here. Okay, done. Well, maybe I would like to add um, uh, my company logo inside this title block. So I uh, call the image command and I select this image. Okay, and place it here. Of course, it needs some scaling, so I call the scale command. Select this and scale by 50. Let's place this closer to the sheet border. Okay, it's uh, more or less ready. I, I would like to place all my form plans inside this sheet, so uh, I need to scale it a little bit. I call the scale command. get it further okay we're almost done uh, I just need to uh, export this as a D DXF file so I export it automatically opens it up for me and I will change the name to maybe proto long long sheet just long I need to move this uh, under the sheets folder to be able to see it from the uh, proto details. Now, actually, we are ready. Let's open uh, another, a new file. Now I will draw uh, all the formats of this project on the sheet uh, that I have just uh, created. So uh, I go to uh, draw form plans and select a new sheet here. As you can see, it is listed now uh, on the sheets list. And I simply click draw. Since all the uh, form plans are fit, could be fit inside this drawing sheet, it didn't use another one.
uh, we, uh, we don't see any client name here, but if I update uh, my client name from here, for example, for the client, Protetest asked me uh, if I want to change, uh, update all the uh, sheet mark values and uh, all the values uh, that are laying out uh, uh, on the existing sheets. Uh, and I say yes. And you see that all the, actually, if there were more than uh, one sheet, all of them would be updated at once. Well, there are a lot of uh, enhancement features that you can apply to your dynamic drawing. For example, uh, let's use the form sections. Under the uh, design library, or detail library, I can find the uh, plan section command here. I just call it and select two points on the arena. And my section is ready and I would like to place it to the extension of these two lines so that it would align perfectly. And uh, with 2021 version, uh, you have a new option to draw uh, vertical sections horizontally as well. So if I uh, select always draw horizontally here and uh, create a new section, it will be created horizontally and you can place it as you wish, of course. And of course, uh, these are intelligent as well. If, and if there is uh, any clashing here, you can always manually edit it very fast. Very easy to uh, edit it manually. Because in uh, mostly in complex geometries, full automation simply won't work. But you can create stand bars uh, for actually uh, for 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 this uh, key plan, uh, the foundation key plan. Uh, the stand bar were uh, created automatically, but you can create a stand bar for uh, any slab or mat foundation. You just simply select it and right click, then draw stand bar, and select the uh, parameters and quantity. You calculate quantity. And you just place it, and it will be included in your uh, quantity takeoff as well. But you can always place your uh, dimensions uh, manually uh, with the uh, available CAT commands, of course. But uh, there is one more additional feature in Protodetails, uh, which is automatic dimensioning. Uh, just like the form section, I uh, select two points on the screen. Sorry, I select two points on the screen and show the dimension position i would like to i don't want access uh, i would like to insert a total uh, not insert a total dimension i simply click ok and uh, the key plan is dimensioned from the inside well i would like to show you uh, slab drops and hole detailing as well uh, if you want to comp constructively add your slab drops or hole details you can do this in front protest structure as well, but uh, if you want, you can additionally uh, make constructive arrangements here on the proto details. For example, for slab drop, uh, I select the slab drop command and let's draw a rectangular slab drop here. And as I selected the rebars for, for cross and uh, parallel rebars, they are all generated together with the rebars. And very interesting feature here is that actually you can uh, use level marks all around the uh, form plans. So if I click here, I see that this is uh, this uh, slab is uh, at level six. But if I click here, inside slab drop, it knows that it's a slab drop and uh, it shows the level accordingly. But similarly, let's uh, try Hole detailing as well. All this time, I would like to draw a polygonal hole. Sorry. Let's draw a polygon. Let's get rid of the ortho. Just close this, and it's done. 
Well, let's see what we can do more with the uh, shear wall elevations and column elevations, uh, since there are a lot of uh, options to apply for them. This time I will start first, uh, create the sheets and, and then place the elevations one by one. So uh, for this purpose, I will call this sheet command. So this will be a column elevation. So, okay, let's insert it. All right, so I go to uh, the column elevation drawings and I use the one by one insertion option here. If I select this, at the uh, end of the cursor, the elevations are uh, appearing one by one. So, I, so that I can insert them uh, to a proper position on the sheet. Uh, and since I'm doing this manually, I can save my space uh, I can craft this uh, to my needs and I can save more space here. Uh, well, we know uh, this is okay, but we know that uh, showing elevation story by story uh, is not always enough. It is usually better to see how the column is detailed through the stories. Uh, well, how are the rebars doing while column section changes? You can pre prepare your column elevations uh, through stories as well. So I simply select this column and I would like to see this through the stories. So I click this through the whole all stories and it's generated here from one's uh, first floor to the top. And you can actually uh, see the uh, section change. You get the rebars, all rebars are bent according to the code provisions here. Well, of course, it can also handle uh, slanting columns for a slanting column here. As you can see, it follows uh, the path of the column very precisely. There are uh, many more options regarding the column uh, detail generation, and you, you can all review them here. But some design codes uh, require you to lap longitudinal bars at the mid at the mid span. Uh, this is also possible with proto details. Let's try this one here. I select this and click, click OK. Uh, then the next detail uh, column uh, elevation I will create uh, will use this option here. Again, let's make it through the stories. But now I can see that uh, my labs are created uh, at the span of the column. And you can see that the confinement zones are modified according, accordingly uh, to handle the lap at the span of the column. Additional confinement regions are automatically created at the uh, lap part. But furthermore, you can even see the elevations of columns supported by shear walls. Again, through the stories, select. Here you can see uh, that the bars are bent uh, into the column. And as the section changes throughout the stories, uh, it just makes the correct detailing through the stories. Also, you can see that the uh, bars that cannot go into the uh, columns uh, are bent uh, back inside the Shear wall. Well, I would like to show another uh, great feature uh, coming with uh, 2021 version. Again, uh, I go to the column settings. I'm oh, sorry. Uh, now it is possible to group columns uh, with same section and rebars throughout the stories. For this, I will select column elevations again. And here under the options, you can find uh, draw similar columns together, drawing columns, uh, columns together when drawing columns through stories. For this, I will, I will use this one for demonstration. You can do this for uh, all the uh, column elevations through the uh, inside the sheet as well at once. I don't want any sheet here. Let's place it. And here it is. You can see that uh, the column uh, on the second and third floor uh, are exact matches of each other, so uh, it's, they are just thrown for once. This can save you a lot of paper space for high-rise buildings, especially, uh, when you have typical uh, sections for columns at most of the stories, of course. Well, let's prepare the beam elevations of the second floor uh, as an example. Again, I will call the sheet command. And let's insert another sheet here. Well, this time I will 
Let's close these. This time I will uh, open up beam elevation drawings and I would like to uh, insert this. I just double clicked and insert, but uh, it doesn't fit inside my uh, drawing sheet. Well, so what would I do? I will just uh, call the crop beam elevation command here. And I place the crop part here. And I can continue to uh, doing this to all of the rest of the details. And so on. But just remember that uh, you could have done all this work automatically, like we had in the beginning. Uh, but you have much more control when you lay out your details manually this way. So uh, you have more freedom to organize uh, spacing on your drawings. Well, uh, there are like a hundred more functionality about automated detail drawings, uh, but I have to leave it here for now. I will open a new drawing inside this project again. Uh, as I said, Prodesis Details is an MDI application, so you can create as many drawings as you want. Uh, you can save all of them along with your project here. Uh, now I will open an external CAD drawing. Uh, do this. This is a DWG file. Uh, actually, this is a real life project that I have uh, completed using Proto Structure, and uh, the detailing were done in Proto Details, uh, and I exported it uh, as a uh, as a Proto Details uh, as, a, as a drawing file uh, afterwards. This is uh, all made in the Proto Details. What I would like to do this uh, do is actually uh, I would like to detail this uh, pumping chamber here uh, with custom rebar detailing commands. We have a uh, copy of longitudinal uh, and transverse sections uh, of a single block here, and I will start with this part now. I will call the insert the formwork command, which is very handy. Uh, what I do is I select uh, the diameter first, and the cover, and all the other parameters, of course, and I just simply click around. I select this uh, specific line and show which side uh, should the uh, rebar position be positioned, and I continue. And at the end, I want uh, to use cover, but in the beginning, I would like to make, uh, I would like to extend beyond the anchorage. And when I'm done, select and I will do the same for the bottom bar here. And this time I would like to use cover at the beginning. And yeah, that's it. And of course, I can uh, move around the labels and uh, position them correctly. As same or this part as well. I will go with the anchorage. Uh, see uh, how the program calculates the anchorage length and updates uh, whenever the diameter changes. This is done according to the select code provision, and it updates automatically. In the beginning, I will use the anchorage as well. The same for the uh, other side. This time here I will use the cover. And yes, I guess. All right. Well, uh, this is good, okay, but how about the other direction uh, rebars? How will I do them? Uh, this is this is the uh, transverse section of it. So let's create the other direction rebars. Uh, for this purpose, I will use a, a four-point rebar insertion command. This time, uh, our rebar dialog appears, 
and I just select the uh, U-shape rebar here. As you see, this is a uh, shape dictionary, and you can select any uh, shape, and you can play with the parameters uh, here, or you can uh, or you can insert it and uh, select the parameters according to the uh, geometry that you would insert it in, as I will do now. So I select the diameter here, and I will place this from in between uh, these lines and maybe to go here all the way down here and I will do the same for the other sidebar here to here uh, now the rebar quantities are calculated uh, according to the uh, span that I have shown. Well, we know that uh, these rebars should be seen uh, on this section as well. Uh, so what I do is I call insert rebar section command and select this rebar and place it from here all the way down here and I will say update the rebar quantity according to this new span that I have just shown it updates it to 40 and let's see the other uh, view of this rebar is updated as well because now they are linked together I will do the same for this bar here all the way up to here now and I will update the quantity and I will show the label position here as you see it is done as well I can do the same uh, I can do the same for the upper uh, position as well I'll just skip it for now uh, okay uh, what is missing here is actually uh, the tie bar so what I do is I will go to reinforcements uh, and to the tie bars uh, options I will use batch tie bar between rebars and after selecting uh, the parameters that I wish uh, what I do is I just simply select two circle wheels here and th they are uh, tied together with this tie bar and of course I can uh, create links inside any polylines as well for example for this one let's uh, offset this polyline here uh, by a distance of 30 millimeters by color and uh, I can convert this uh, offset polyline into a rebar by selecting this uh, convert to rebar command and of course uh, I don't want the type of labeling here but instead, instead uh, I wish an arrow representation so I place the arrow here and it's done I can continue with uh, detailing of this chamber uh, and I can complete it in, I don't know, 10 minutes or something. Uh, I can add, uh, add the other part, uh, rebars, etc. But I would like to stop here. But the best part about this is, of course, the quantity takeoff. Because all this work, all this rebar uh, generation can be resulted uh, in quantification and as you see all the rebars that I've created are quantified correctly and uh, listed inside this quantity takeoff and we can see that actually we have now the bar marks here well uh, we know uh, that you have uh, a lot of uh, drawing files uh, lying around with any sign of without any sign of life uh, those drawings are usually a bunch of DWG files uh, 
with polylines and tags uh, uh, that are representing rebars, but they're just simple uh, plain entities. Uh, well, you have to use Excel sheets and manual calculations to measure uh, the quantity. The worst part uh, comes when you have to revise these drawings. Uh, then you have to deal with changing bar mark marks and uh, a never-ending quantity take of update story uh, occurs there. So uh, I'm, I have just opened this, uh, su such a file. Uh, these are, as you can see, just plain uh, texts and polylines and lines. But I will uh, make them come alive here. Uh, as I used just before, I will use the converter rebar uh, command here. And I will say, for example, this is 32, sorry. Let's pick 32. And this won't matter actually. And the quantity is, uh, what's my quantity here? 10. I just simply select this and it turns into uh, an intelligent rebar, just like this. And maybe for this, 26 of them and it goes just like this and of course again the best part is that you can actually quantify them select this region and create a quantity takeoff well uh, as I told before uh, Proto details can do much more than just creating the detailed drawings of a building model. We know that you're not always dealing with buildings, but other types of structural components as well. We want to make your life easier, so we have a design and detailing library for that purpose. And we are continuously adding on top of them and enhancing the quality and quantity of these libraries. I would like to cover a few examples here. I'm going to start with our latest macro pool design and detailing. But well, here uh, you can select from predefined pool geometries. I will go this one. And you can sculpt it uh, to your needs. I will, uh, I'm going with a step pool like this one here. And we have a, a table to customize it further here. You can change all the uh, geometric features here. Uh, and uh, slab geometry is actually automatically generated from the uh, wall geometry, stem geometry that you have provided. Uh, but you can edit it further as well. You can view all the slabs, generate slabs, add more slabs, and cha change their geometry. But next, you will see uh, you need to define the materials uh, and loading. Uh, well, here you can define uh, different soil models. Uh, for each wall stem according to US and European standards. I have selected the European uh, standard and all the intermediate uh, load calculation uh, parameters, uh, load parameters are calculated and shown in this interface. Well, let's change the soil uh, profile a little bit. Uh, maybe this is not sand, but is that clay? And I can, of course, add more layers uh, according to my provided soil profile. But uh, And you can also uh, apply as many surcharge loads uh, as you wish, uh, as point load, line load, strip load. Let's add a new surcharge load, for example. Uh, it can be a strip load, maybe, at this site. And finally, when I'm done, uh, I just say so, okay and apply this to uh, all my stems well you can apply different soil models to uh, each stem separately and finally what i do is i just click the design button and uh, design is done and of course you can play with the resulting uh, design and uh, you can actually uh, change the load case scenarios etc the stability checks and rc design uh, reinforced concrete design on the service and design scenarios are done automatically here uh, and of course, if I click the transparency, you can uh, visualize the uh, rebars in 3D, as you can see, and uh, you can create print uh, report and see uh, a very detailed report that uh, shows all the geometry, uh, the soil models that you have provided and defined, and all the calculations, intermediate uh, calculations of these uh, soil profile loads. 
Uh, and the final design uh, is listed as well. So, uh, before uh, going uh, back uh, to the arena, uh, you can view uh, the detail, preview the detail here. And when you are done, you just simply say click OK and insert it uh, to the arena. Let's get rid of this quantity takeoff. We can take the quantity later on. Uh, well, uh, let's talk about the other uh, design library options. There are many of them. We cannot go all over them actually, but uh, we have the stairs macro uh, with different options. You can select and you can create a detailed drawings here, or uh, you have the pile cap macro actually this is the same pile cap, pile cap uh, interface uh, as uh, it is in the proto structure uh, only difference is that you can enter column sizes uh, and uh, positions and uh, column loads uh, manually here this one as well and we have the pile design macro for example, I can uh, add some whaler beams. Maybe I can select from the uh, different section types and I can use board or press, press, press one. Uh, and when it comes to design, you can actually uh, calculate the working loads and you can uh, perform a lateral analysis. When I select the working load, uh, the soil profile, uh, again, it can be provided here uh, and you can enter the information uh, like the design parameters like group efficiency and design other design parameters as well here and you can enter the information coming from the standard penetration tests like negative skin friction and you can uh, play uh, with all other parameters and finally calculate the working loads and the diagrams uh, will be automatically uh, generated showing you the uh, working load uh, depth versus uh, working load uh, diagram and if I select the lateral analysis, of course, I need to provide the design actions here, the more design actions. Uh, and when I use the recommended values, and if I say design pile section, oh, of course, again, here, uh, you need to provide a soil model, uh, as we have done in the uh, pool macro. And finally, you can uh, inspect all the diagrams like moment shear, deflection, soil pressure, uh, interaction diagram, etc. And when you are done, you just simply click OK and uh, select an insertion point on the arena. And similarly, you can uh, design core bells, um, maybe double core bell according to uh, many different standards, design codes, like uh, American, Euro code, or Turkish codes, etc. Here, as well as get rid of the quantity takeoffs. Uh, and actually, when I'm... Uh, oh, I, I, I would like to talk about the cantilever retaining wall macro, finally, as well. Uh, I can confidently say that actually this is uh, one of the most comprehensive solution for retaining wall design and detailing in the market. Uh, well, load combinations, the geometries, different geometries with base plates, shear keys, uh, parapets and shelves uh, can be entered. Again, uh, you can define from a selection of uh, soil parameters. And all the uh, intermediate design calculations are again listed uh, and calculated and Eurocos, American codes are supported uh, and all three approaches in Eurocos are supported here. Uh, and you can see the intermediate summary analysis summary and you can uh, inspect the uh, loads and total failures uh, with according to many different methods, of course. And finally, when you're done with the design, this is a section-based design and uh, you can inspect the uh, sections uh, and design uh, results 
uh, at the selected sections uh, when you go when you just hover them and when you're done with the design and you can of course uh, this is dynamic drawing and you can uh, change the design here and when you're done with it you can take the report uh, and of course prepare the detailed drawing this one here i will move this here this is very neat drawing anymore uh, and of course I can I can um, of course I can uh, place all of them inside a sheet that's called the sheet command again this time I will use one one I guess Establish the page, uh, and by the way these sheets uh, can all, always be scaled to fit the, the ingredients here okay uh, when i'm done of course again the best part comes it's the quantity takeoff and i can take off all the uh, all these components uh, i can take the quantity uh, of all these components at once in a, a single sheet uh, just like this well um, oh finally I, I would like to show the engineering utils as well as civil engineers we need some uh, basic but uh, fundamental uh, tools uh, they are the ones that we have to use to achieve more complex tasks uh, we have this idea in mind uh, while creating these engineering utilities uh, you can for example calculate the uh, hook lengths covers and encourages for uh, different uh, element types uh, for different exposure conditions uh, to many uh, different design codes similarly the hook length can be calculated all the parameters of a hook length and rebar area calculator can provide you uh, the provide steel area per meter uh, and the vice versa uh, and you here is a uh, very ex extensive uh, unit conversion tool and the simple beam analysis you can find here um, with the results of shears and maximum moments etc uh, and we have two uh, simple uh, hydraulics macros as well uh, to calculate uniform flow depth and gradually uh, varied uh, flow here uh, thank you very much uh, before i close the session let me briefly go through uh, what we have covered today uh, well uh, We've seen that uh, you can automatically create drawings of your protostructure uh, projects uh, with uh, just a single click. And you can place them into your title blocks that you have generated. And you can make precision detailing of columns and shear walls. Uh, and there is also uh, many options to enrich your drawings manually. Well, uh, we have seen that Proto Details is also a full-featured CAD tool with intelligent objects. Uh, you can create rebar objects intuitively, convert polylines into uh, intelligent rebars, quantify all rebars, links, tie bars, and mesh steel with complete shape forms, and make use of undo and redo on an operation, of course. And uh, we have a growing uh, component design library like stairs, engineering utilities, um, Corbel design, a path footing. Actually, we, we, we didn't uh, have time to uh, go over this uh, today, but we will create, we will make a new uh, video to showcase this. Uh, this is a new uh, path footing module uh, which is available from ProtoStructure and Proto Details uh, as well with 2021 version. It's uh, completely rewritten and it's um, a lot more comprehensive now. And of course, we have uh, the pool macro. And with component detailing, uh, I couldn't show them as well, uh, but we have pit foundation, uh, culvert, uh, and shear wall elevation design libraries. Uh, what is our biggest advantage? As Prota, our biggest advantage compared to any other solution on the market is that we offer a comprehensive solution for our clients. 
The protostructure, you can design model buildings, uh, then perform automated steel and reinforced concrete detailing with protosteel uh, and protodetail tools. You can also coordinate your model uh, with leading beam players uh, with protobeam. In other words, actually you invest in a single package and own all these technologies. Well, thank you very much for your attendance and support today. Uh, for our users, thank you for your continued support. Uh, please continue to contact us through your uh, local support channel with questions. Uh, we actually love hearing from you. This is very important for us. For those new to protostructure, uh, we have some very special offers for protostructures 2021 at present. Uh, it comes with, uh, back with uh, direct technical support and all the updates. You can uh, email uh, us for a quotation or you can reach us through uh, protosoftware.com. And of course, please follow us on uh, social media pl platforms like Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. Well, thank you uh, very much from the Proto team and have a nice day. Thank you. Well, now I would like to uh, answer the questions uh, that you have uh, asked during the webinar. Uh, 